an angel in the office. And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Yet when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, King James Version. Joy, I need to go home right away. I don't feel well. I think the air conditioning in the office is affecting my sinuses. This, coming from my husband, meant that he really needed to get out of the office. I sensed the urgency in his voice. So although it was about 1.30 in the afternoon, I responded immediately. I left my office drove to his office and took him home. As soon as he entered the house, he headed for the bedroom and went under the covers. After sending a few minutes with him to be sure that he was alright, I returned to work. That night, he had a fever and did not seem to rest very well. The next morning, before I left for work, I administered some home remedies and left my husband to rest, as it was obvious that he needed more. At work early in the morning, I casually remarked to the secretary that my husband had a fever and a cough and was unable to go to work. Go home and take him to the doctor, she told me in a commanding tone. I tried to explain that I would see how he was by the next morning. But she insisted, go home and take him now. I obeyed. The doctor said my husband had a viral infection which turned out to be dengue. The extent of his illness was such that he was ordered to rest for three weeks. Something unheard of for my husband. I have since thought, what if I did not obey the secretary or an angel? Would my husband have needed to be hospitalized? Would he have died? After all, the doctor explained that, without adequate rest and fluid intake, my husband certainly would have died. One of the ways in which God speaks to us is through ordinary people. A friend, a sibling, a child, a colleague, or through the secretary. Am I willing to listen and obey? God also speaks to me through His Word. My devotional text the morning I left my sick husband at home to rest was Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21. In thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. King James Version Lord, help me to be willing to listen to your voice by whatever means you choose. May I, like Samuel, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10 Carol Joy Feather So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.